Madam Deputy Speaker, we are here because the previous uh, Chancellor lifted the moratorium on uh, fracking, and his previous boss, Crispin Oddy of Oddy Hedge Fund, has put millions and millions of pounds of investment into, into fracking now. He's the same one who made hundreds of millions of pounds when the pa- pound went down following Brexit, having supported Leave. He's the same one who made a lot of money out of sterling going down after the mini budget. Strange, isn't it? So we've got a situation now where the government's lifted the moratorium saying so you can go ahead with fracking so long as you have safety and a local consent, so maybe that will be bribed. We don't know what, what will happen there. But I don't think that's sufficient, because we need to think about the environment. I was rapporteur for the Council of Europe uh, on fracking, and what we found from satellite data was that 5% of the methane uh, being pulled up was actually leaked through fugitive emissions, which meant that fracking is worse than coal for global warming, because methane is 80 times worse than CO2. And so we recommended 46 countries that we know and went ahead head with fracking. As a result, Macron, when he was first elected, he didn't have many policies. He took that policy off the, off the table and he banned fracking, as we have, in fact, in Wales. Of course, fracking consists of sending millions of tonnes, millions of cubic metres of a, a chemically impregnated water, often hundreds of chemicals, which are carcinogenic, into the ground. Half of them come back, half of them stay underneath so they can contaminate the water table. The rest have to be processed. In the United States, they dump them in Arizona. Well, we're not the United States, and we haven't got the space. We've got the lorries running around the countryside, smashing up our environment. We've got mini earthquakes causing disturbances. We've got air quality data for the United States showing local people have all runny eyes, all sorts of uh, problems. And as I say, that's why in Wales we've also banned it. We're focusing on tidal lagoons, uh, uh, you know, wind farms, solar energy, spatial planning. Uh, there is a way forward forward for a sustainable green energy future. The answer is not fracking. It's environmentally unsound. We should dismiss it even if there was consent, even if there was safety concerns were were alleviated, which they won't be. This is absolutely appalling. This is Tory fracking and people should vote Labour because of this appalling decision to lift the moratorium.